Introducing the all-in-one gaming keyboard called Power Vessel by Fundian. This was an Indiegogo project that I funded a couple of months ago and now that it's here, let's do a full review. Hi guys, Nafis here from Technobiz where the business is all about headphones, bag and tech reviews such as this one. So if you're new here, then please consider subscribing. Let me first give you a lowdown of this device. This is essentially a mini keyboard with a mouse that also has a gamepad to play games. It can connect via Bluetooth with your iPhone or your Android phones and also works with your PCs and Macs. If you want, you can also connect this with your Apple TV, Fire TV, Mi Box or Shield TV as well. It has a built-in battery that charges via micro USB, but there is no indicators on the device itself to know how much juice is left. So you will have to rely on the LED on the top left to start blinking to be able to know if this needs to be charged or not. It is a thumb typing keyboard like the one we used to get on the Blackberries before. It is also backlit and is great for texting or sending in-game messages or typing something up very quickly. But I think you will need some time to get used to typing on this thing as the layout, layout of the keys are a lot different than any other keyboard that I have ever used before. There are three ways you can use this thing. The first one is the game mode. In this mode you can use the sliding joystick, the directional pad, the left and the right bumpers. But if you have an iPhone or an iPad, then you cannot use this to play games because this is not M5 certified. You will have to jailbreak your iOS device and then install an emulator if you want to use this for gaming, which is a big letdown for me. But if you want to use this with your Android phone or Mac or PC as a regular controller, then you can play games with this. There is also a 3.5mm jack on the top of the keyboard that will allow you to connect a headphone and stream the audio off of the game straight from the keyboard which is awesome. The second mode is the M1 mode. Here you can use the sliding jog or the left analog as a mouse controller and the L1 and the R1 button works as the mouse left click and right click respectively. This mode is best for Mac, Windows, Linux PC, Android or iOS mobile and TV box supporting Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. And with the latest iPad OS 13 update, you can even use the mouse with an iPad or an iPhone. All you have to do is search for assistive touch on settings menu and then turn it on. The third and final mode is best for iOS devices like iPhone, iPad and Apple TV. You can use this for other devices as well, but it has been specially optimized for iOS devices like Apple TV. So here you can use the music control buttons and QWERTY keys simultaneously. All in all, I think it is a great little toy, but it's a shame that it's not M5 certified. With Apple Arcade just being released, this thing would have made the ultimate controller for an iPhone or an iPad user. It did cost me less than the regular controller though which is 118 Australian dollars and it also came in this beautiful leather pouch for free but I just can't stop thinking about how big a miss the M5 certification is for a keyboard that is trying to be an all-in-one device. I can just only hope that they fix this with a firmware update of some sorts in the near future. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe below for more videos coming every week. Till next time, peace.